Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Thursday vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm really excited to bring you this wonderful new paper pack called Grand Hotel from our friends at Stamperia. And here's a page that I did, I made this last night. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it uses these wonderful, beautiful papers from um, Grand Hotel. And inside the paper pack, you'll notice there's lots of tags and even these little um, pages from calendar pages where I circled the date and placed the year uh, for my scrapbook page. And um, I also use these wonderful laser wood butterflies that are from Hot Off the Press. And I covered them with a little bit of luster polish. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in a moment. So um, let's get on to look what's actually in this paper pack. Uh, the Grand Hotel from Stamperia. Stamperia is actually um, a company from Budapest, Hungary. So really beautiful um, papers that we don't always get to see here in the States. So look at these gorgeous colors stripes. I love these cutouts and I'll show you in a little bit how these make really quick and easy cards. And then if you don't like those particular cutouts on the back, these are great for journaling and then to also to layer with to make other kinds of cards. I love this sort of different uh, collage look of paper. Beautiful collages, beautiful patterns. So here's that calendar page I was telling you about. On the back, there's blank calendar pieces, more journaling, and wonderful tag cutouts. Beautiful little rosebuds. Gorgeous, right? So um, here is another project that I did. This is just an eight by 10 frame that comes from a dollar store. And then I used one of those collage uh, patterns on the paper, in the, from the paper pack. And I just use, you know how these things have a little paper insert at them? I took that out and then laid that over my paper to use as a pattern to cut out my paper for the right side. Go ahead and matted, I matted a photo, a four by six photo, glued that on top, and then I just slid that right inside. Let me see if I can grab this. So you can see you could easily change that out, right? And then I took these adorable flowers. These are uh, country bloom flowers from 49 and Market in these beautiful colors of rose and um, light blue and added a tag. And then I also added some sparklets. These are Aloha sparklets and I loved that color scheme for this. Um, and then these little cutting die or die cut pieces right here that are little sprigs, that comes from um, the Rose Flourish um, die set from Card Making Magic, and we're going to use that several more times with the projects today. Here we go, and let's see what can I show you next. Oh yeah, here's a quick and easy card that I did using the um, let's see these sort of card toppers that they have here. Okay, so super easy to cut that out. I just covered the card with a blue background paper and then just put a little strip of some striped paper and then just cut one of these guys out, bang, put a little bow on there and I was done. So really fast um, and you get six different designs there. And then on this card, I went ahead and I did a, a little bit of layering here. Um, as you can see, I used sort of this patchwork paper that they have and then I used some um, craft card stock on the little rosebud and then I have a circle die here as well that I then backed with just a little four inch lace doily and then cut some more of these um, leaves and sprigs from the Roche Flourish die set and then placed those and then added these wonderful little flowers and then used some gingham ribbon um, let's see, this is the gingham ribbon pack from uh, Paper Wishes and just a little brown gingham. And then this little guy, this little with love was already on the paper, on the corner of the paper. So I just added a couple little sparklets to that just to sort of draw the viewer's attention right there. And also a couple of um, white jewel border dazzles from Hot Off the Press, just a little sparkle, very um, easy to put together. And now let me show you, I'm going to use some of the Glitter Kiss, um, as I said, rather the Luster Polish, um, to go ahead and color 
one of these little laser wood guys and then we're going to build a card and use that so here we go so here we've got um what color is this this is his raspberry sorbet luster polish all right just a little bit on there and then i like to just scrape it off on the edge of the jar and just a little pouncing motion I don't want to do too much on here. If I really loaded up this sponge, then I notice that it can kind of fill in those laser details and we don't want to lose those. So definitely you don't want too much on your sponge. Okay, so you're just sort of staining it and getting that sparkle glitter on there. And then I like to pick that up and do the edges too. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're going to let that dry for a few minutes while we build our card. And also remember, when you're working with any of the uh, Glitter Kiss and Luster Polish products, make sure you wash your sponge out right away, and that'll last for a really long time. Get some of this off my hands. All right, so we're going to let that dry while we build this card. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with my blank card. Oops, just lost a piece of ribbon go all right and um, I like using the cosmic shimmer specialist acrylic glue I probably make a dozen cards in a work week and I have had my bottle this is a brand new one I had the bottle before this for six months so this stuff really lasts a long time it is absolute favorite to use so I'm just gonna put a couple of dots here to secure my card go and then I always like to have a border so I've just taken some of the stripe paper cut it into about a one and a half inch wide stripe and then I'm going to put some glue here and I like to mat my borders so I've got some craft cardstock here go Now we've got the background piece. That's one of those cutouts. So I'm going to use the side that's got a sort of a blank space on it. I'm going to put that right here, kind of even with the bottom edge. And then I have got a tag that says for you. I'm going to kind of just overlap that a little bit going for a little bit of a collage look here. And I like to kind of work off the top edge of the card sometimes. Okay, and I like, I think I'll put that bow on. And then we're gonna do a little cluster of flowers from the 49 and Market flowers. And what's great about the glue is sometimes you just hold it there for just a second and it just gets a bond really quick. There we go. I'm going to take my bow and put that at the top. And then a little flower just to add a little bit of dimension and draw the interest right there. And then back to my butterfly, I think I'm just going to put that right there. So just a little bit of glue. Right there. There you go. Okay, so that just went together really quickly. And everything is just right here in our money saver this week. We've got the wonderful Grand Hotel paper pack and also these wonderful little Country Bloom flowers from 49 and Market. So definitely check that out. And um, the links are on the um, below in our description. And if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure you check out those links for the Money Saver and also the links to paperwishes.com. Thanks for joining me today.